on Friday. I don't know where the time goes. It's uh, it's been um, such a, a quick pace, you know, during this week, and um, and I'm feeling really expanded and guided today to to discuss um, um, a message, uh, really, to and an activation to to that has come through from my higher. Uh, consciousness um, and from the um, from the galactic uh, council of twelve um, also within uh, this 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 vessel it's a message to star seeds so it's a message that uh, um, that came through light codes as most of my messages do um, so there is a nudge that happens within and a vibration and a sonic it's a sonic vibration it's a hum that starts inside the body sometimes there is no particular sound that is um, that is uttered as a result of it um, and sometimes there is and this sound um, this hum then brings brings to the fore some you know this um, the 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 desire to design a light code or to um, or to look at uh, at uh, the sky and and uh, take a photograph of a light code that might be revealed you know in the sky um, and that then, then manifests itself in a very different form in my uh, sophisticated phone. And I say that uh, because it is quite a sophisticated phone, uh, because it, it has the ability sometimes to just uh, move pictures and create images that are absolutely st um, you know, stunning without uh, the creator. Um, um, you know, physically, the human um, have any 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 impact on it, uh, having done no action that actually precipitates the image to appear, and of course, that's part of the encodement of the light of the of the star seeds. It's part of the switching on of the the star seeds at the moment. You know that. Uh, all star seeds are lighting up so the visions and the pictures that are coming through are of a network of light that is being switched on and it's interwoven in a in interwoven in a tapestry all right and uh, and they have imprints from different planetary um, sources um, where they have come from uh, or from the multiverse um, and they are now switching on it's time for the unlocking and no matter whether you are the message was very clear that no matter whether you are um, you know still feeling density you know in your body you know with you, you are uh, going through um, uh, the shadow process or the journey of the shadow process is coming through very um, forcefully. Uh, you're still having periods of depression. You're still in density. You're still in fear. You're still in contraction. You feel fragmented. And, and this is a feeling that many star seeds are going through still. Um, and they have this notion that that they have shut down instead of being switched on there has been a delay on on their advancement uh, there uh, there has been um, uh, an interruption in the current um, and and they feeling um, the sadness of being 
uh, still uh, in this body very uncomfortable. And what I'm having gone through all those experiences, just like all star seeds, is that allow yourself to feel into that unease or that dis-ease, you know, by going inside yourself and take a moment every single day of being just in the silence with your higher consciousness, you know, accessing your monad, accessing your higher self first, accessing your, your oversoul, and having a conversation in silence, getting to hear that, getting acquainted with that relationship, that love affair, with the, um, that higher consciousness, and allowing yourself to, to work through what needs to work through, um, but to surrender to it and just accept and surrender to it. So being silent, breathing, and, uh, and just being, and take yourself from the external attention because there's so much happening around the world and uh, there has to be some sort of equilibrium and the, my guidance from, um, from, the, from the council uh, is very much that a, an equilibrium is necessary. So by all means, you know, there are many star seats that have the front row, you know, that are pioneers of the, of the front row, which we call. So they are the ones that are going to be um, uh, leading up the discussions, driving the, um, the resolution of the, um, of the uh, uh, light and the dark, uh, the conspiracy theories and the, and the, and the uh, light bearers of the, you know, the white light that is coming through, uh, that's happening in, in the arena of, the, of our 3D, because it's all playing out. And some are warriors, some are, um, are supposed to be driving that process to be, to be participating. But give yourself time, you know, give yourself time also um, to go within yourself because all the light codes, you know, the light tuning frequencies that we are all holding, you know, as star seeds have been completely switched on. So in order, because there is a matching frequency now that uh, you have attained within your, um, your field um, that can now receive the, all the light encodements that are um, anchored in your DNA. So, no matter if you are, um, you know, still going through a depression or you have shut down to your galactic um, uh, and ascended beings that are communicating or we're communicating with you at once, or you are going to a, per a period of dismantling, mm, you are still switched on. So the, the activation is a matching frequency now in your vehicle, in your vessel. So you have the opportunity now to go within, you know, so inviting you to go within and to converse with the ISL, to converse with your monad, with your oversoul, tapping into them and understand what those light encodements are. Because all those light encodements, those light tuning frequencies that have been encoded in your DNA 
and in your in your especially in your dormant DNA that is, is switched on is being switched on you know they are fountains of information so they are in formation hmm? so these are bundles of informations of your new assignments and each one of you each one of you star seeds are absolutely are delivering a unique um, you have a unique assignment which is different from the other so there is a lot and I've observed and certainly have experienced you know um, because the one who does that is the ego the ego observes the ex others other light workers other star seeds hmm? what they are delivering what YouTube videos they are doing you know what light codes they are designing what interventions they are offering in their websites hmm? what courses are they being putting uh, be put together yeah that's the tendency but who's doing that hmm? it's the ego so observing that ego playing you know as a witness and I like the analogy of you know a little basket you know where we have our witnessing little um, golden child I call it the golden child and this witness child witnesses and catches the ego when the ego comes up and emerges with oh but I need to check what others are doing you know maybe I need to do those things those interventions and what are, the message has been very clear you know and you know, part of a, for the past 15 years my work has been with star seeds uh, being a star seed myself don't focus on the others focus only on yourself because you are encoded as a galactic um, ambassador or spokesperson or as, as a star seed with frequencies that are refined and they are individualized to you to your specific um, specialities specific skill set and those are the frequencies that you are going to be um, switching on to after you complete your inner journey so let's not be distracted by what is happening with the others what they are focusing on you have a particularly unique skill set that you bringing and believe that I'm in you know the message is so clear that it's so different than the other person that is why we part of this big big puzzle and we are coming to lead whether we want to lead or not we are switching on to lead and assist humanity to shift into a higher state of consciousness and awareness in whatever form we are specialized in or we're going to be specialized in in our new assignments and our new roles it is perfectly all right if you are still in the fear if you are feeling fragmented if you feeling that you've shut down that your galactic guides are no longer talking to you that you do not hear the voice anymore of your your angels or your guardian angels and and that the expectation the vision that we have come up as star seeds is that when we switch on everything is going to switch on 
at the same time and we're never going to feel dense again. That's also an illusion because we are living in the third dimensional density. We are living inside this body. It's a costume and it's heavy and it's uneasy and it's uncomfortable and it's nothing like the lightness of being of galactic life and galactic experience that's why we've lingered as star seeds a long time you know being out in an ascended state staying out in that ascended state you know communicating with our uh, planetary bodies you know that we we come from you know with our guides with our ascended masters with 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 galactic beings for a long time but the light coding frequencies mm, the encodements mm, are, are inside the body not outside the body so the message is clear and it's been passed to many many people you know that it's the dissension into the body that is necessary for every star seed now to collect that switch on so to speak it's by going in and establish a balance about your external focus by all means, be aware of what's going on, but don't get sidetracked and don't get distracted of what whoever is doing. Don't get distracted with your external distractions too, be it in the materialistic side, be it a fact that you, do, you feel that you are still in poverty, lack, be it the fact that you, you, you feel that... Um, that you have needs that have not been met in relationships. These are all external distractions. At the moment, the clarion call is very simple. And it's, let's go in and collect that, those encodements and those light tuning frequencies that have an overwhelming amount of information hmm? about our skill sets, about our role, about our assignments, about what we here to do as we stepping daringly, daringly, and liberating in a liberating way within our sovereign, sovereignty into our roles in service, in empowered service. It's massive. Millions have been switched on and it's beautiful. So, let, do not let any distractions. Let's not allow the distractions to deter us from focusing and actually embracing that skill set. And whatever we need to work on in terms of clearing and creating space for those light attunements and frequencies to be switched on, hmm, you, we are capable of doing. If you have addictions, and you are making excuses for yourself. I have this addiction. You know, I have alcohol addiction. I have a drug addiction. I have a, um, an addiction to um, a sex addiction. And I, so I am not deserving of this, of being switched on. How can I be switched on? I'll never be switched on. I feel lousy every day. That's a distraction too. And it's also an old limiting belief. You are building up. You are constructing 
a series of knots. Hmm? You, whether you have the addictions, whether you are distracted, whether you are depressed, whether you are traumatized, you have been switched on. The light, everything is lit like a web of illuminated light. And it's a beautiful picture. And it's beautiful to see it connected to different planets. It's beautiful to see it with scrolls of light, the language of the heart coming through with the geometries and the colors around it. We are weaving a whole new tapestry. So we deliver, we stand up and we lead and we assist humanity in this big shift. It's a call and it's a clarion call to everyone. So let's release those programs that are in contraction and in distortion. Let's release those attachments to, to those beliefs, to those values. Let's release the old templates and let's accept the invitation. Let's accept the invitation hmm? to go within, to spend time in understanding those codes that come in in different forms. So you, as you're receiving the information, you might be drawing those codes and then decoding the codes as the information goes. Because that's, for example, what has happened uh, in my experience. Hmm? You might be having dream walked during the during the night and then you'll be able to decode um, through as singing a light language song and then decode the song into a message that's coming through a new modality a new skill set you might be receiving it there's different types of actually collecting the information you might be receiving uh, telepathically you know, in your dream time. And then as you wake up, you start choosing articles to read. You start choosing um, uh, places to go. Uh, you start choosing music to listen. And it will give you a whole array of clues of what your gifts are. Being alert being in awareness, being in trust, being in love, that you are receiving this, that you are able to collect it, that you are worthy of collecting it. And while you're doing that, yes, there will be a lot of work to do. Because, and it will continue, because you're still living in this density. And as you are collecting the skill sets, the modalities, you'll be working and of clearing and cleansing all those parts of yourself that are preventing you or that, that are distracting you from embodying that. So this dissension into the body is a prerequisite for the light codes to be collected. Because they are not outside the body. They are not part of your astral travel. They are inside your DNA. So it's going inside. We are in centropy. 
inviting the syntropy within so that we can assist in joyful and loving service. So, and while we do that, we are also going to be helping lots of souls because as many have been switched on, there are many that are leaving. Many that are getting ready to leave. Because either it's because they have completed their missions and their divine plan or because it's too hard sometimes to be in a body, in a density. So there's many star seeds, as you all know, with lots of disorders, bipolar, with disorders and instability, with disorders in, um, you know, epilep epilepsy, um, with depression, acute levels of depression, with addictions that are not resolved and they are unable to overcome. And there are choices. And we as star seeds, because they are also switched on. So the message is also for all those star seeds that the choice, there's a choice. And the choice is simple. Your magnificence and your service to stand up is there. It's inside you. And it's just allowing yourself to get into the in, to get to know the information, calling your oversoul, your magnesoul. And hearing the messages from that and not from your ego consciousness. That's going to create a lot of obstacles for you to stay here. So we can serve as star seeds. We can be there for each other. We can support. We can assist. We can open a field of compassion, a field of love, a field of healing, I feel a conduit, we can serve as conduits for those conversations between the monad or the oversoul and the soul that is given up, seems to have given up. And we can, in a, in a very free way, because it's not an imposing, we can't, there's no, we can't, impose anything but we can express from the higher self from the monad self and from the magnesol the conversation that shows the possibilities and the potentials of the path that can be taken by those souls. And that's all we can do. Because the choice ultimately, ultimately is them, is theirs. And I've had the experience of having, you know, around me some, you know, or quite often people with those addictions. And that is why I'm, I am focusing on that. And it's a, uh, it is an easy, very uneasy, energetically, to be in this body. And for some stars, it's the, the adjustment is so dramatic that uh, it's difficult to overcome. However, the message is clear. We are here to assist those two because energetically and 
assist the remembrance. Remember why you're here. Remember what you are here to do. We will assist you as facilitators and activators and as companions. We will assist you to remember. So energetically tapping into that and then just releasing the control, releasing the expectation of any outcome, letting them journey and make their choices and holding a place of love, a place of compassion. And I have seen so many turnarounds. It's so inspiring, but I've also seen a few that have bailed out. And that is perfect too. So, I would like to close, because this is really what came very strongly from the council meeting that I attended yesterday. And, uh, So a message to active this activation that I will do now is to activate the switch on, to be smooth, graceful, and to encompass as many star seeds as possible. And remember, we are here for each other. We are here as facilitators. We are here as friends. We are here as lovers. We are, we are here as parents. We are here as grandmothers. Those are just roles. But we are here as ourselves in our highest consciousness state, in our essence. It is about you. It is about us. All the other things are roles that we are playing. But in the body is where you collect the higher consciousness and the full totality of who you are in the session. So let's just take a deep breath and exhale. as we are calling and gathering the light within our hearts and while weaving this beautiful tapestry around the globe of all star seeds that are switching on and inviting to adhere to the clarion call to go within collect the skill sets the gifts it's time it's time to lead Yeah.
Just taking a deep breath and just breathing and allowing the tuning frequencies, the sonic frequencies to anchor in and to integrate and to assist the unbundling of that information that is ready to be collected. To be received with an open heart. Connecting in with each other, connecting in with your internal compass, connecting with your intuition, connecting with your magna soul through your higher self, allowing that love 